with school back in session, it's more important than ever to be heads up. Joining us today is city staff to talk about heads up safety tips for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers. Later in the episode, we'll head over to Central Park to talk to Gabby Vera about all things Evening of Remembrance. You're watching This Week in Santa Clarita. Joining us today is Alex Porlier with the Traffic Division. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So we just want to remind residents of the Heads Up Safety Campaign. What does that mean in terms of safety for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers? Really, it's just about awareness. Um, we've got new students in an area. We've got drivers navigating a new area, a new school, all at the same concentrated time. So it's avoid distracted driving. When you cross a crosswalk, be aware, look both directions. If you're cycling, just be aware that you're also sharing the road with cars. So again, it's all about awareness, focusing on the task at hand, driving and getting to school safely. Alex, you mentioned cyclists as well. Older students may be riding their bikes to school. What are some safety tips you can share with them? If you can, ride in groups, the more visible you are. Bright colors always helps. Definitely bike lights, reflectors. Always wear a helmet and always ride in the direction of traffic. If you're riding against the flow of traffic, Drivers may not see you as you're exiting driveways, parking lots. So again, direction of flow, visibility are key. Back to school is supposed to be a fun and exciting time. Let's make sure we all get there safe and sound. Alex, if residents want to find out more about the Heads Up Safety Campaign, where can they go? Sure, um, you can find plenty of information on santa-clarita.com slash heads up or bikesantaclarita.com. We have a bike safety drop down tab just on the home screen right there. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, now let's go head over to Central Park to talk to Gabby Vera about all things Evening of Remembrance. Joining us today is Gabby Vera, Arts and Special Events Coordinator. Gabby, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So the Evening of Remembrance is a very important, impactful event here in the community. Can you tell us more about what it represents? The Evening of Remembrance is hosted here in the Youth Grove Memorial, where we memorialize 119 lives that were cut short due to traffic-related incidents. On that evening, we will gather here and remember those who we lost and emphasize the importance of driving safely in our community roads. We will commence with a walk of remembrance starting and ending at the Youth Grove Memorial and have a program where we have invited community leaders, residents, and other agencies like LASD, Defiant SCV, SCV Orchestra, and Olive Branch Theatricals to perform and pay tribute to those lives who we have lost. We'll also have a slideshow that features all of the lice who were lost and memorialized at the Youth Grove Memorial. Gabby, when does the event take place? It takes place on Wednesday, August 23rd, with the Walk of Remembrance starting at 7.15 p.m. Gabby, for residents who want to find out more about the Evening of Remembrance and more information about the Youth Grove, where can they go? They can go to santa-clarita.com forward slash youth grove or call the Arts and Events Office at 661-250-3708. Gabby, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So to everyone watching, if you'd like to attend this meaningful event, join us here at the Youth Grove on August 23rd. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, Santa Clarita.